got my little magnet thing. That's a, that's annoying. I'm gonna have to just do that, I suppose. Ba 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 ba. Hello peeps, um, been a while hasn't it, uh, yeah, reason for this video you guys have obviously been asking for it, this is an update on Operation Fezcam as was wonderfully named by our YouTube audience, um, we're now, I've been busy, I've been away, I've not made any videos because uh, well me and Nick have been very very busy, as has Dean really, um, so I guess I'll give you an update on the status of Team Flector and um, then a status on our code name op Operation Fezcam and uh, Take it from there, I suppose. Team Reflector, as it stands, uh, we are now a, an officially a CIC, a community interest company. Um, I'm not sure if I mentioned this on the last video. It's Like I say, it's been a while. What is a CIC? Uh, if you don't know, it's a relatively new thing. It's, it's been going a couple of years, but it's only really gained traction in the last couple of years from, from what we've seen. Um, it's basically a charity that can make money, effectively. <laughs> It's also the same thing as a limited company, so it, you know we're allowed to make money and, and, and do activities to generate profit as we would normally do. But instead of for the benefit of shareholders or you know the managing directors or anything, it has to be for the benefit of the community, uh, and that can be the community around you, or it can be a specific community that you name, and that is all audited by the government uh, a couple of times every year. In our case. Um, all our profits are going to be spent on supporting mental health charities and also a very, very big project, part of Operation Fescam, which we're going to talk about later because, you know, balls are still in the air and contracts are still being signed and things like that. Of course, as you know, I'm the MD CEO and, I, and I've got severe anxiety and severe PTSD diagnosis. Nick Hardy, the other co-MD, he's uh, been raising money for mental health charities and grassroots causes for well before I ever, ever met him. Um, Dean himself has uh, obviously been doing the same and he's uh, cared for people with mental health and things so we've all been touched by it and then on film sets we'd say easily 40-50% of the people we work with actually have a mental health diagnosis and are either hiding it or have learned to cope with it or, or you know the production knows about it and that's kind of the driving force of why we, we made Team Reflector a CIC because of all the people that were, you know, proud and open about having mental health, like I've tried to be with you guys over the years, um, there were a lot more that were still trying to hide it in this day and age. That doesn't sit well, you know? And it seems to be a, a weird thing just in the film and TV industry. Like, when you go to these big corporate websites, they say that they're you know, open about mental health and they encourage discussion and everything, but when it actually comes down to it on a day-to-day -day level, um, and maybe it's just like the middle management people that people work for, I don't know, but people still feel like they have to hide it in some situations, which, yeah, not on our watch. So, uh, yeah, that's why we decided to put all our profits into um, basically fixing that. And like I say, there is another huge charitable project that we've got in the works that again we can't talk about for contractual reasons until uh, the new year so stay tuned for that. In terms of uh, you know structure as you just mentioned uh, Nick and I are both co-managing directors now co-CEOs. Um, Dean you won't see on the videos as often these days he's still founding member of Team Reflector we're still best friends we love him uh, but he's got some personal stuff that he wants to be concentrating on these days. Uh, his wife's uh, taking on a pub and he wants to help out there and all, while also you know, doing his photography and things. So he's going to concentrate on that for a little while, uh, which is absolutely fine. And you know, you'll see him in the videos because he'll, he'll be welcome to come to Operation First Cam uh, when I can tell you what it is. Um, you know, he'll be around, but not, you know, he won't be all, like a co-presenter with me, you know, on the video. So, but he's, he's still around, he sends his love and we send his love back, his love back, or our love back to him, because he's awesome. Love you, Dean. But on to Operation Fezcam. Now, I've been all coy about it because a lot of cogs were turning and a lot of irons are in fires and whatever other corporate BS words you want to use. Um, and, you know, contractual stuff, things like that. Basically what it is, is um, because we're a CIC and because we uh, want to work with mental health charities and we also want to eventually be providing 
uh, counselling services for people in the arts. Uh, we need a building for that, because we can't do it from a couple of sheds, uh, <laughs> which is basically what we're working out of at the moment. Not garden sheds, they're, they're big, but we, we call them the sheds. Um, so we've been looking for a building for the past year, well, past two years, really. But it's been a long and hard and arduous process, as you can imagine. Now, we've, we had several buildings that were forefront runners, and then they got swept out from underneath us at the last minute. Uh, we've had um, sites where we thought we were going to get it, and then a developer buys it and knocks it down. So the idea with us is we're not going to buy a new build office or anything like that. The whole point of the project is to take on an existing derelict building preferably with some land around it or near it or across the road from it or something like that um, to do what we want to do which I'll explain in the very next video which hopefully will come in a week and I'll tell you why in a second but as you can imagine there's not a lot of derelict buildings around and the ones that are there some of them are just uh, you know too unsafe and so you'd have to knock it down put a new build there anyway which we don't mind but we'd sooner get an existing building and then add to it with some new bits or you know build it in the style of the original building that kind of a thing because we're we're very one of the core principles of a CIC is that not only are you serving your community but you are also serving the local environment which obviously spoke to us if anyone knows us will know that's what we want to do we want to be as off-grid as possible we want to have solar panels on the roofs we want to have you know ground source heat pumps we want to have electric vehicles all that stuff so that's all part of Operation Fest Cam as well that's that's coming in 2022 but yeah, so as you can imagine, there's been, especially on my side, because I've been uh, project leading this whole thing, uh, it's, been, um, it's been a ride. And of course, with me having severe anxiety and mental health and depression and PTSD and everything, it's taken me a little longer than, say, an able-bodied person might do, which is exactly why we exist, to prove that we can still do it. It just might take us a couple of weeks longer, you know? Um, you know, it's been tricky emotionally for me, but all I've been keeping together is that, you know, the thousands of people potentially that we're going to be helping for the course of this project. So, yeah, it's, it's kept me going. It has kept me going. Why am I telling you all this? Well, Operation Fezcam is about to finish with any... Well, it's, it's this phase of Operation Fezcam is about to finish either way, because we... Long story short, we found a site amongst all those other sites that was just perfect for the long-term survival of what we're going to be doing. Um, I can't say what it is or where it is. I've already shot the follow-up video to this already. <laughs> it's, a, it's kind of weird, but I can't tell you in this video yet because uh, as I'm recording this and I'm going to release it hopefully today or tomorrow morning, um, we still can't talk about the site. But it's a site in Nottingham. Um, it's a derelict, um, like, you know, it's an empty, abandoned derelict, um, and it has land around it. And um, it's basically going to allow us to provide the services that we want to provide um, to, to the mental health community and also um, do our team reflector activities. So it's pretty cool. Now, on the side of the other buildings that we were looking at, this one's always been going on. So this has been under what's called a tender process. So which basically means that you are in competition with a lot of people and they whittle you down and whittle you down and whittle you down and then we were basically for the last uh, month and a half we've been in the top three as we believe um, top three companies out of I think 100 went for it so um, yeah stiff competition quite proud that we got this far frankly it's a very it's a testament to our, our belief and our vision and, and the people that I've, I've got around me that have been helping with this. Um, you all know who you are, so well done. And as I'm recording this, we're either going to find, we're going to find out whether we won, ultimately, or lost, either tomorrow, or, which is Friday for me, or, uh, the, or some, some time of the weekend. Because what I want to do is, once we get that email through or that phone call through, I want to have Nick on, you know, on Skype with me, he'll be at home, I think. Um, and get our genuine reactions for the video, good or bad, you know, whether we've won or lost. Either way, that means you lot can find out 
exactly what it is because if we lose it we don't lose anything by telling you what the building is and I've actually been used this is a good thing for you Minecraft fans out there obviously as you know I'm a professional Minecraft player um, I've actually been using Minecraft as, a, as a, an architectural tool it's crazy making 3d models and things like to scale you know um, to show off what we want to do with site and stuff so I'll be able to show you that and I'll basically be able to give you an idea of what the actual project is because even if we lose this building it's not going to stop this project we're just going to have to find another site we've already got another one in the back of our minds but um, we don't think that's going to be available for a couple of years so we, we, we'll just have to go back out there and start again from scratch but you know all the documents are already written now all you know all the business plans are already done all the all the, all the stuff's there you just need to basically change the name of whatever site or building we find you know so it should be a quick process um, if we if we lose it if we win it war shout from the rooftops you know what's that champagne that's the word <laughs> even though I don't drink uh, champ champagne that is um, and, and again I'll be able to show you the building and I'll be able to show you the building in person because I've already done uh, drone mapping of it and uh, you know drone cinematics of it and overlay that with some of the Minecraft videos and some of the architectural drawings we've been sent and all that kind of thing we'll be able to just go splurge here's what we're doing because because uh, obviously that video is a thank you to you guys for supporting us and for giving us all the nice messages over the last year or so but also we can use it to you know attract uh, you know, private funding and, and grants and things like that. So, yeah, look forward to that. But yeah, I just wanted to give you an update really because I've been getting a lot of PMs recently like, are you okay? You haven't made any videos for a while. Um, I have actually been live streaming Minecraft um, on, on MC Movie, so it's twitch.tv slash MC Movie if you're into that kind of thing. Uh, <laughs> and what I do is I talk about day-to-day -day mental health stuff while I'm building or helping someone in, on the server so if you're into that you know it's in the description but you don't have to but yeah as you can tell a lot's gone on and a lot's about to go on either way um i hope i've oh got i hope we win this tender to be honest because it's going to ensure the long-term survival of the site that we've been looking at anyway because we're going to treat it with love and respect and do it up to and work around it's as it is you know so I'm trying I'm trying to word it in a way where I'm not breaking NDA it's really hard <laughs> but uh, yeah it's oh that'll be the best Christmas present and also the worst New Year's present because that means I'll have to actually do all the work <laughs> to the place <laughs> but yeah <laughs> one step at a time eh? but yeah I want to thank everyone thank you uh, thank you for all the nice messages uh, Nick sends his love as well um, yeah, a lot of updates to do. Well, be able to say exactly. Some point next week will be the video showing you exactly the building I'm talking about and what exactly we are going to do with it, or if we lose, we're going to do with it. Um, and you'll see why I disappeared for a little while. Obviously, once we get this site sorted, then we'll, we'll have a facility where I can just literally go into a room, hit record, and start recording. I don't have to set anything up, so that'll be good. Um, so that'll be, you know, every couple of days that you'll get a video or something like that. But yeah, until next week's video, sorry this has been a bit of a city, still, talky head type situation, but I wanted to give you a context to mine and Nick's reactions on the next video, which, as, we're, as I'm talking, will be shooting tomorrow or the day after maybe, hopefully. Um, and everybody just keep your fingers crossed for us. Um, yeah, if it's bad news, I might not put the video, the uh, full explanation video out straight away because I might be too gutted to, you know, do anything and I might, I might sulk for a couple of days and then, and then I'll be alright and then we can <laughs> carry on and dust ourselves off as it were, but I'll, I'll, I'll cover that as an addendum to the, to the next video. So, but yeah, thanks for being with us. Thank you for all your pledges of support. We've already had people wanting to donate to the charity side of it, which is amazing. Keep all your money for now, please. Um, CRC bank accounts are a pain in the arse, so it's, it's not, it's set up, but it's, we haven't got the paperwork through to give you the PayPal details and everything, so, but thank you anyway. Um, and until the video next week, be kind, be patient with people,
especially at the moment because we've just gone into a sort of lockdown, sort of not, although the pubs are still open. Huh? Okay. Um, and yeah, that's it. Ta -ra. Wash your hands, wash your hands, wash your hands. Wash your hands, wash your hands, wash your hands. Wash your hands, wash your hands, wash your hands. Wash your f***ing hands! I like to move it, move it, move it.